Hey everybody. This is my 55 gallon T-bar tank. And about a week ago, I guess, I shot a video where I talked about detritus worms in the tank. And you can see them all still swirling around in there. All those little white things you see flowing around. They're detritus worms. And I've had them in this tank forever. They tend to come and go. I see more of them at some times. I see less of them at other times. But they live down in the gravel. They're no concern, really. They're not bothering me. And they actually act as part of the cleanup crew. They actually do uh, eat any leftover fish food. They help clean up the fish waste and break it down. And so it's not bad that they're in the tank necessarily. But it's certainly unusual that you see them just flowing around in the water like this. And what I had chalked it up to the other day was the T-bar. The detritus worms tend to live in the gravel and this T-bar is a digger. So when he gets in there and he keeps stirring up this gravel, he's never giving these detritus worms enough time to settle back in and actually get back down into the gravel and get back out of sight. Typically when I've seen them in the past, it has always been in the morning when I turn the lights on. You'll see some of them on the glass, you'll see some of them out sort of swirling around in the water. But within 15 minutes or so, the lights coming on, they're all gone. And that's because they all make their way down into the substrate again and we just don't see them. So I think because this T-bar is in here and this T-bar is, you know, you can see these mounds of substrate on the bottom, I think that's probably why we've just got these worms floating around. I'm really hoping this is not going to be just how this tank looks from now on. I'm not really sure how to get them out of there. I know there's medications you can use to put in tanks and it'll kill, you know, you can get like planaria medication and it'll kill the planaria. Um, I'm assuming that it will also kill the detritus worms because planaria are flat worms and the detritus worms are actually round worms. The detritus worms are very similar to earthworms actually, whereas the planaria are not. And they're something altogether different. I actually did see some planaria in my snail tank the other day. Let's come over here and have a look and see if we can... Sorry about that. I had something leaking on the floor. I had to stop and pick up. All right. And let's see if you look straight back there. You see that little spot? I'm going to try to zoom in on it. I know it's really grainy and there's not much light on it, but that is a planaria. That is a flat worm that crawls across the surface of things and it moves in a very undulating sort of fashion. It's very different than the detritus worms. So I do have the planaria in this tank again and I'm going to have to do something about that because the planaria are a problem. They are very different than the simple detritus worms. The simple detritus worms, as I said, will act more or less as um, part of your cleanup crew, whereas the planaria are predatory. They will actually try to latch onto your fish. They'll eat fish eggs. They'll eat um, you know, they'll get onto any crustaceans you have living on the bottom. If you have any small crayfish or shrimp or anything like that, the planaria um, can kill them. So planaria are a problem, whereas these detritus worms are not. They're just simply unsightly. So what I think is going to happen with this tank, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get around to it tonight, but hopefully I'm going to get in here either tonight or tomorrow, and I'm going to do a really good gravel vacuuming and water change, a nice big water change, and hopefully I can just physically suck a lot of the worms right out of the water. And then if I gravel up or I vac up the gravel good enough, maybe I can get rid of a bunch more. And then even though I don't do a very heavy feeding uh, routine on this tank, I think maybe I'll even cut back on the feeding a little bit and see if that doesn't reduce the amount of detritus that builds up. And if you reduce the amount of detritus that builds up, you also reduce the amount of detritus worms that build up. So hopefully I can get on top of these. Again, it's no big deal. It's just really ugly looking having all these little worms floating around the tank. That would be bad enough if it was just you know, detritus floating around the tank. But these are actually detritus worms floating around the tank, and that is really uh, definitely unsightly. I still don't know what's going on with all this black cruddy stuff in here. I cleaned it off once. I scrubbed it not too long ago with a toothbrush, and it actually looks like it's growing back uh, every bit as fast as I scrubbed it off. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that either. 
Um, if I keep having issues with it, maybe we can do something to deal with that down the road. Uh, otherwise, as long as it's not really causing too much problems, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, so we'll see. But the main thing I wanted to do tonight was just get some more video of these detritus worms floating around here and just have a little discussion about them because this is very unusual for me to just see them. I mean, this has been going on for days. I keep coming in here expecting, like, the tank to be nice and cleared out and all of this gone. And just day after day when I've been coming in here, I've just got these worms floating all over the tank. It's kind of starting to get old. So there you go. There's a little update on the T-Bar tank. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. Uh, you never know what you're going to get here with me on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, this one is my T-Bar tank. So thanks again for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.